here, Wired Lady TV, every Wednesday, usually at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, running a little late today. And today I'm doing a fun live stream uh, talking about making rings to sell. So this is going to be fun. I'm going to show you some old rings that we made. We used to sell jewelry on the streets of Montreal in the 90s. These are some of the rings that we used to sell. I'll show them up close um, uh, pretty soon. And also I'll show you a lot of the rings that I've made already on my channel. Uh, so I'll be able to uh, link up a playlist below of all the rings that I've made so far. So hi Amber, hi Corey, hi Clarice. That's awesome you guys are uh, hopping on. Hi Peggy and hi Terry. Everybody's hopping on today. That's amazing. Hi Ginger, nice to see you. And Kathy, all of the regulars are hopping on. That's fantastic. And we have, oh, I can't read that one. Jesse is here. Hi, Jesse. And uh, yeah, so I'll flip over the screen. Hi, Karen. And I am going to show from Trinidad. That's awesome. So you can, I'm going to flip the screen. You'll be able to see it's nice and snowy outside in Montreal. Hi, Anna from, a, um, from the UK and Asha. And Shazrad. So there we go. There's our snow. And I'm going to flip the screen. And these are a bunch of rings we used to sell on the street. So you can look at those while I pull up the video on my channel. Let's see. So we can see the live stream and stuff. I hope you guys are doing great. Uh, that's not the video I want. Let me go back. Um, refresh my page. And hopefully, oh, there we go. Here's the live stream. Fantastic. So, did I miss anybody? Cat, hi, Cat, and Janice. Hello, Janice. Boy, I'm missing some of the chat here. And uh, now I think uh, Sharzad. I pronounced your name wrong. So Sharzad is here too. Great from Iran. That's awesome. Nice. Uh, perfect. So you left your survival video to come here. That's fantastic. So guys, these are a bunch of the rings. Uh, my husband and I used to sell on the streets of Montreal and at craft shows in the 90s. And so these are some of the rings that I have here. Uh, lots of different ones. This is actually just made with stained glass baubles. We have a lot of beaded rings. If you see any rings here that I don't already have a tutorial for that you want me to do a tutorial for, let me know. I already have uh, tutorials for one similar to that. Uh, these are just, these are all our beaded rings. This one's actually made with a super thick uh, wire. Like it's, I don't even know what it is. It's more than 16. It must be like 10 gauge wire or something. So that one was super cool with the big beads. Hi, Tim. And uh, yeah, so these are all some fun ones. These were some we experiment with like just making a flat spiral and gluing the piece on. Unless you have a very good uh, glue, I wouldn't recommend making those ones because they might be a little bit fragile. And um, did I miss anyone? Uh, Lydia. Hi, Lydia. I missed, I missed you. So thanks, Amber, for... Uh, recapping who's hopping on because sometimes I miss uh, people. So this one was fun too, like with the three circles and dice. So this is one of our panels. We have tons of rings, like so many rings. And then here, let me put that one back. And here's another tray of the rings. Uh, so these are the ones that are made with the thick wire. And then these were some others that we experimented with the glass baubles. But what we did with these ones is I actually have a grinder and I ground a, um, a little groove around the outside. Janet's in Ontario, Canada. Cool. I'm from Ottawa. That's awesome. Maybe we were neighbors. So these are fun with the grooved glass um, uh uh, cabochons and I'll link up some videos I'll link up the whole playlist of ring tutorials that I have uh, online anyways uh, so you guys can check them out and here's the last panel of rings that we used to sell on the street and these ones are fun and I've started doing animal rings on my channel let me know in the comments if you like the animal rings if you want me to do more uh, because I have um, I've already done have I done a cat? I think I did a cat before. I did the dog. I've done a bunch of other ones. Somebody asked for a bunny, so I'll be doing a bunny. This is the bunny. I have a lot of musical notes, stars. This one's cute with the hand. I do have a hand ring uh, tutorial already. 
uh, fun with the ladybug beads. I had some like with knots. This is cute. This is just like a little stick guy. And this is our trademark, the bicycles. I do a lot of bikes, earrings, and um, ornaments and different things. So the little bike ring is cute too. And what else do I have? All kinds of like, this is a cute design where you just do like, I think I have a tutorial for that one where you just stick the ends of the wire in there and you glue them. And airplane, is that an airplane? Hmm, where's the airplane? I'm not sure. Can you, which ring is beside it? I'm not sure which one is the airplane because there's, this is a dolphin. This one's a dolphin. And I like the, I really like the little guys. I think they're adorable. I don't know if I've done a tutorial for the little guys, but that's cute. Maybe I'll pull the ones out that might be interesting. I could do that one, the bunny. This one was really funny. The little, this little stick guy too. He's adorable. And uh, the dice ones are fun. So, and music notes we've done. Dolphin is cute. We can get dolphin. Here's the, here's the moon one to, or the uh, mouse one. A paddle border. A paddle border could be the little guy could be a paddle border. I'm not sure. I uh, love the bow. The bow is the bow. Which is the bow? Is this the bow? Or that's the that's the knot. I do have a bow one diagonally southwest of the treble clef. Oh, did I pull it out? Maybe I pulled it out already. I could have pulled it out already. Maybe south west west. Hmm. You're confusing me with the direction, but I guess it's over there. Maybe it was the one I pulled out. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a dolphin. Ha <laughs> ha That's funny. Hi, Erica. So now those are the ones we used to sell. I'll show you the tutorial ones I have, but just to show you, because we don't go do craft shows anymore. This is a massive container of rings. If anybody knows how I could unload these, these are like thousands and thousands of rings that my husband stockpiled to sell at shows and then we stopped. So I have so many rings, it's insane. Um, and I don't know what to do with them. So those are our rings. I guess if we ever do craft shows again, we can uh, we can sell those rings. But yeah, wow, it's insane. So a feather, that's a good idea. Let me, I'll, I'll start writing down ideas if you guys have things that you want me to make. And then if you have any questions about selling at craft shows, you can ask me or you can ask people in the group. So this is all about rings to make and sell today. So if you have any tips for selling in craft shows, let me know. My big tip, put them in my shop. I don't like selling in uh, rings in my uh, Etsy shop. Two reasons. One is the sizing is always hard. And two, uh, you have to package them in a box and um, it's more expensive to package them. And But mainly the sizing. And I don't want to have problems with returns and things like that. And a lot of the rings I've made are not made with high-end uh, metals. They're novelty rings. So so it's kind of not worth it to sell them in my shop because I'd have to, I'd have to, yeah, these ones... See, these ones I would have to price quite low. Um, generally, pricing, because I haven't sold in a long time, it's hard to know, but depending on the metal, so if you price things, uh, like some of these little novelty rings I would sell for $5, but that was like 30 years ago, so pricing is definitely different. I always advise people to look on Etsy to compare prices to see what other people are selling things for. It's always a good idea. And then just look at other at craft shows and stuff to get an idea. So guys, these are all rings that I've already made on tutorials. So if there are any rings that you like here, there's a tutorial on, uh, on, on uh, YouTube. So you could definitely check that out. So there we go. Hi, Bernice. Hi, Jessica. Nice. And what did, I think I missed one, the, hmm, I'm missing a comment. The blue one at the bottom is my favorite. Oh, this one is cool. Yeah, that's the, like the, with made with the gear. This one's super cool, made with the gear. And yeah, so these are all different ones. I've done like sea glass. I've done, I did a little bunny there. That's cute. Coffee cup. My daughter likes that one, the, the, um, the nest. And there's more like just a herringbone style. Uh, the wrapped stone ones are really nice. Uh, star notes, all kinds of things. This is a, this one's fun. This is like an adjustable style that you could put semi precious stones in. There's some angels. So there's one tray. I have three trays plus I have extras downstairs. So this is another tray of ones. And they, um, uh, Karen, yeah, a lot of people have 
uh, questions about pricing. So the pricing, I always advise to compare uh, to see what's available, what's the going rate where you're living, and it depends on the material. So if you're using silver, I have done rings with Argentian silver. They would be, you know, up around $20 or more. But if they're novelty rings, I would say 8 to $10, like for the really novelty ones. But it really depends on the complexity and on the beads. So if anybody has any tips on pricing, definitely pop them in the comments below. So this is, this is, this is a discussion about selling rings and jewelry. So if anybody has any tips... Uh, go for it, you know, and my big tip about selling rings at craft shows is be careful because young people tend to like to steal them. And that was one reason we stopped selling rings, too, because we had a lot of people stealing stuff at shows. Some people would come and just like grab handfuls, which was terrible. Yeah, you really have to be careful about that. So, yeah, these are all the other ones. All of these have tutorials on my channel. So if there are any you like, definitely check it out. There's the flamingo that we did recently. That was cute. And this is the one I, I posted the video today. My daughter did a voiceover for this video because the audio conked out. And she did such an amazing job. And it was actually funny because Mimi had suggested to me to do a voiceover video. And I just happened to have scrapped the audio on that video at the exact same time. So she's psychic. And this was fun. This is the two-finger ring. This one is really, really fun too. So she would go... Okay, so Anna says... Your niece is into wire art and jewelry. That's awesome. I used to make jewelry with my nephews and nieces all the time. This is fun with the chaos wrap. So many, so many rings. Let me get one more panel. And then we're going to get making some stuff. So here's the other panel of stuff from the tutorials. I love these tree ones. I think they're so fun. Yeah, I really like the tree ones. This one's fun. My husband said you got to be careful if you wear that one because it's got like little pokey bugle beads. But a lot of these are novelty rings, um, lotus ring, flowers, buttons, making things with buttons, clusters of beads. Uh, the heart ones are nice. Christmas rings. And these are the animal ones I did recently, the dog and the cow and some other ones there. The coffee cup is cute too, yeah. So guys, let's get started. I'm going to also show you uh, when, uh, when we were selling at the shows in the 90s, I made myself a template. So this is great if you're mass producing any designs. I've shown these before. And what I do is um, some of them I've actually like scrapped and recuperated the nails for other projects. Uh, Alien's cute too. But usually what I do is I set them up on a paper. I draw them on a graph paper and I just plant nails where I need the bends. I don't have many that are still uh, functionable because I... Um, I don't use, I don't make rings anymore, but this was cute. And actually, um, Amanda had asked for a bird uh, that I did as a ring recently. And I just realized I had a template for the bird. That's like a piece of, which I'd totally forgotten about. So that's cool. Um, the coffee cup was, let me find it. Where's one? So here's the coffee cup. This was the one that was in the tray. And there is a tutorial for that one, so that's fun. Hi, Connie. You guys for the coffee cup. I didn't say hi. I just answered your question. So now, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to see if there are any on here that I haven't already done a tutorial for. This was the dog. Uh, we already did that one. Uh, this was like a high-heeled shoe. That one's really cool. Um, we could do that one, but what I would have to do is plant some nails back in there because I destroyed my... I destroyed my jig. So what I want to do when I like reuse these, I don't remember what that one was. Oh, it says it was a sewing machine. Ha, huh, that was eons ago. So just let me get a, this, uh, okay. So yeah, the coffee cup is cool. So what I'm going to do is sometimes I just reuse these, these um, nails. So I'll just pull them out. Um, so I can reuse them. I just use finishing nails and I clip the little ends off the nails. So let's just remove these and plant them over here to see how that works. Let me, I think I had one here. Okay. And we're going to see if it's going to work. And then this one. Yeah, this thing is vintage. So when, when, if ever I have a retrospective 
of my work, I can put things like this in it because this is almost like a work of art in itself and it's being reworked and reworked, uh, you know, depending on what we need it for. And um, yeah, so I'll just reuse some of these nails and put them in here. So we've got this one. But these are really, really handy if you are mass producing the same design over and over again. It's very handy to make a template. So I'm just going to get these ones going here. Actually, maybe this one can go in the end. I'm not sure how big this one was supposed to be. Okay, we're just gonna stick this one down. That actually might be too far over, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna try that. And then one more, but I don't want it too big. And this one maybe, I don't even know. Oh, those were bells. I'm just trying to think of what everything was. I, sometimes I forget. That one's a little big. This was a mouse. That's the mouse, but I don't know if I'm gonna, I could keep that one. An elephant, that would be cute. We can do with an elephant. There was a giraffe. Oh my goodness, there's so many. Uh, I just need a random, a random a nail that I won't need to reuse. I don't even know what this one is. So let's take, let's take one of these off. There we go. I think that was a person. So let's just take this one and we'll put it in here and I'll show you how it works. So, uh, my youngest grandson was two pattern bracelets. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, kids are amazing, and uh, they come up with the most creative ideas. So let's see how this works for the shoe. So what I would do, what I usually do is for the middle part of the ring, I use um, 20 gauge wire. And then for the other part, I've lost my, I've lost my 20 gauge wire. Hang on, uh, it was on there. Okay, I'm just gonna get some more 20 gauge wire. This is yeah, I'm running low on some of my wires. So here's some tarnish resistant silver, the artistic wire, 20 gauge. And yeah, this is great. This is handy. I just do these on wooden boards, so that works well. So I'll just get a piece of wire. You don't need it super long, maybe about probably even less than three inches. So let's just do this. And this isn't the wire I used to use. Like uh, the wire I used to use, I probably don't even have it anymore, but this is, we're gonna see how it goes. So this one to do the shoe, and I forget how I ended it, but it was something like this. And then you bring this one up. And this wire is very soft. I think the wire I used to use was much stiffer than this. So. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to see. So we're going to go down here and then up and then around. So this was the idea of the shoe, just to get the shape. And then, is that a plane or a rocket for which one? I'm not sure which one that one would be, but here, let's push this one in to get the high heel a little bit more pointy if we push this one right in okay so that that's kind of cute and then we want to just the thing the key is to just finish it off somehow so that's always the trick is to know where to finish the wire I wonder if you could almost like finish it down here and put like a bead on it or something that might be cute except that I didn't think ahead and cut my thing that long so if we just kind of do the shape like that and we can bring this one in a little bit more. Gonna get my round pliers. Yeah, it's cute, a little shoe, but I think I'm gonna try it again and finish it slightly different, but let's just try this. This is the way we would have done it uh, back in the day, and we're gonna bring this one around. Yeah, we used to have a great time at those craft shows. They were so much fun, and we also did a lot of folk festivals, so you would meet all kinds of really wonderful musicians and get to see shows, and um, yeah, those were good times. We haven't done one in probably 20 years, and then we're just going to take this one down, right down here, but I do love doing craft shows when I get a chance. Sometimes at the, at the gallery, the Viva Vida Art Gallery, in Point Clear, she'll have like little sidewalk sales and stuff and I'll set up outside and I'll make jewelry, like demonstrate jewelry and do stuff with the kids and it's super fun. So yeah, the trouble with this 
it's okay. If you did like a little loop, you can make it into an earring, but I'm not loving that knot. So I'm actually gonna try another one and finish it slightly differently for the ring. Let's just try it again. Okay, so now I'm gonna leave a longer space here at the top. We're gonna bring this one down and around again. And then this way and this way and around and then this way we can just see if we can finish it here or something and then we're going to bring this one around and then I'm actually going to remove it from the jig so hi Narda a dangle for a bracelet yes actually that would be super cute to to use the uh, little uh, um, sorry, mind blanking, shoe as a dangle for a bracelet. That would be super, super cute. Yeah, so instead of like finishing it like that, you can do a loop at the top and dangle it from a bracelet. I love that idea. So here is what I was thinking. If I wonder if we could put a bead there somehow. Um, if we just bend this one, okay, I'm just going to bend this one up here, straight up. And this wire is quite soft. And then this one, I'm going to bend it down, okay, down, and then, so then it looks more like a shoe, and then we're just going to bring this one over, and any of these things I do on the live stream, if you guys want me to do proper tutorials, um, I don't mind. Uh, I did that to the for the flamingos. I ended up doing a tutorial for all the projects except the pin on the on the flamingo, and uh, because sometimes I know in the live streams it's not easy to see. Uh, the fun thing though is that it's um, I'm usually doing things for the first time, so it's really fun to be on that creative journey with me. Hi, Mustafa. Uh, second one from the left at the. Bottom. Oh, I think there's a delay. I think there's a delay, a cat, because I the um, ring panel has been out of the view for a while. So uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll post pictures of those ring um, trays, and then you guys can get a closer look. So this is just like that. And then if we did a, I think a bead might look funny there, but maybe this is going to look better because you can see the corner of the shoe. I think I like the look better. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work with a bead or not. I think a bead is gonna to be too big, but let's look. Let's look and see. I'm just gonna look at my beads and get a, the smallest one I have is the four millimeter for the miracle bead. So if we stick that one on there, yeah, see that looks a little big, but you definitely could put some kind of thing. Maybe we'll just do like a little spiral or something might be fun. Uh, let's try a little spiral and see if that's going to work. And I'm just going to cut the end. Not too big though. And a seed bead might be better. You're right. Yeah. So Bouncy Kitty. Hi, Bouncy Kitty. And El Marie. Hello. Nice. So, um, yeah, sorry we're late, Mustafa. This is late for you. Oh, the other thing I wanted to announce is I'm going to close the Discord group because I find that app is not very user-friendly and also I can't log into it on my computer anymore for some reason. So I'm changing to a new platform for people that don't have Facebook and are, can't join the Wiremakers Club. Also, for people that want to share work during the Let's Get Wired live streams, which I'll be starting up again. You can join Slack, uh, which is a new platform that doesn't have all the noise of Discord. I'm going to actually just grab the invitation copy. So let me just pull this up. So if you want to join Slack, okay, join Slack app. There's the link and you can Join there and I'll post pictures of um, the work, post live stream work. And then if you want to participate in the Let's Get Wired live stream where we work at the same time, you can do that there too. So I'll be closing Discord like soon, really soon. And then you can join, you can join Slack if you, if you want to uh, 
if you want to do that. And also, like I said, for people that don't have Facebook that want to share their work, you can do it there. So now I'm just doing a little spiral here. And I'm wondering, so this is maybe it's better to go on this side so then that little pokey part won't hurt if it's like it won't poke into your finger. So I'm just like troubleshooting this. But that's kind of cute. It's like a little shoe with a little spiral on it. Let me bring it up closer so you can see. It's adorable. There's no color, but it's adorable. So uh, thanks, Mustafa, for sharing the Slack link as well. That's awesome. Actually, um, Mustafa, maybe delete that that link because that one might expire. The one I posted at the at the top that I pinned, I made sure that the link never expires. So I have a little worry that the one I sent you might expire. So now we're going to get 18 gauge for, uh, wire for the band. So let's just cut this. I usually cut it like two, three inches. This is the easiest way you're going to make a ring. And this was the, my recent video about making rings to sell was done in the same way where you just make a band out of 18 gauge wire and you tried to go on it and you couldn't go on it. So that's the Slack app. Let me know, Kat. So if that doesn't work, we're going to have to figure out something else. That's the, that's the link they gave me uh, to join Slack. So let me know if anybody else tries it, if it works or doesn't work. I think you can do it on your computer and on... Um, yeah, Discord is Discord is going to be closed. But yeah, Kat, was that was that Slack or Discord that you couldn't use? Because I know a lot of people had trouble with Discord. So we're going to do this, and it's too bad because it worked well for a while, but then it just wasn't working anymore. So now we want to decide how big to make this. We're going to put that one there. Bend this up. Yeah, this is the easiest way I have to make rings because what you do is you can put anything in between there. You could put a bead, a charm, a little wire, like figure, animal, anything. Uh, it was Slack. That's weird. Okay, so maybe if somebody else tries Slack, uh, from the link that I put, let me know if it works or not. And if it doesn't work, we're going to have to figure it out. So that I just pinned the link to the top of the page and we'll see if it's going to work. So now we're going to put the... the, the um, shoe in here. Unfortunately, I guess it's going to be on a little bit of an angle, but we're going to check. So we're going to just take this one and you can always bend this one a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, Slack is new to me, but the reason I chose Slack was because my daughter is part of a very well-established camera club and they use Slack. And the man that set it up is um, a very knowledgeable about tech and so he would have done his research to find out which was a good app and so far I find it good because it doesn't have like weird pop-ups and bots and all kinds of strange stuff so I think Slack can be good we just have to make sure we can get it working. Hi Rosie you're new welcome that's awesome. Uh, even Xbox uses Discord. I just don't like the way Discord looks. Like there's so many, like in the sidebar, there's so many uh, like things that are up in the sidebar that I just find it very, very confusing. Um, unless I'm not using it properly, I just find that the way it looks is very confusing. So here's that part of the um, shoe. I'm wondering maybe we're going to have trouble if we put it in there. What if we, what if we, let me just uh, cut this. I mean, I'm open to feedback. I'm opening to like persevering with, with Discord. I just find it it really looks funny. Like, I, I don't know. I just, it's just, for people that aren't techie, I think it's really confusing. So I'm going to try to to um, put the wire here. I would have put it at the top, but then it's like really, really on a slant, which might be okay too. Let me just see. If we put it this way, the ring is going to look like that. Say on a side. And if we put it in here, or maybe if we put it actually in the heel, but then you'd have to make the heel a little wider. I guess that might be the best to actually stick it in the heel because if we put it up here, it's also going to be on a hand on a... Let me try it. This might ruin it, but I'm going to try it like this and see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, well, we'll have to do something else. So let's take this one and try to 
bring this is my round plier so I'm going to just try to bring these down to loosen up the end a little bit okay and then stick this wire in okay we'll just stick the wire in there and we can pull this one around and hope it doesn't break okay so I'm going to bring that one around pull it down okay uh Tim how about tip of heel okay so great minds think alike so there we go we're just gonna I think there's a delay with your comments guys because sometimes I don't see them for a few minutes I think I signed up okay Ginger says I signed up okay using the link on the iPad it took a few minutes for the code to be sent to my email however when I came back to the video I couldn't chat until I closed the video and reopened it okay you had to refresh the page okay great Ginger thank you so much for letting me know so it seems to be working um, maybe it's more user friendly on an iPad you can also join it on your phone as well um, maybe the maybe the desktop isn't as user friendly I'm not sure so now we've put the the little wire in the heel but so it's not so thick there let's just go ahead and pinch it closed okay now that's adorable so there we go so here is our ring and Connie just joined slack and got it amazing that's fantastic so I will use slack to post pictures of the work after the live stream and also we can post pictures of um, work that is from the let's get live ones and if you don't have Facebook if you're not in the um, wire makers club you can share work uh, in there as well of all your wire art and wire jewelry so here's the ring guys that one's cute um, uh, Terry says I've gotten onto my laptop and iPhone no problem good so I think it's okay so maybe cat there's a little glitch with your technology but hopefully you'll be able to get it to work so the the um, the high heel shoe worked really well I really like that it's super cute that was worth it uh, perfect so Mustafa sees you there that's fantastic and I'll go on after sorry taking a sip I'll go on after and out who is joined slack so that is the um, high heel shoe so let's do another one why don't we do the bunny and the bunny I can just do by eye so let's go ahead and get uh, some 20 gauge wire now I've run out of my artistic wire so I'm using para wire I have to tell you guys it's not my favorite I find it a little, some of them are really soft. And also I ordered a 18, 18, 20, that's 20. I ordered 18, 20 and 16 and the golds didn't really match up. So that was unfortunate. But um, let me get the 18 to show you. Uh, da, da, da. 18, I just have to find it, if I can find it, okay. So 18, okay. So yeah, so I ordered the gold in 18 and and the, the, the golds don't match up. So there's this one's more yellow, this one's a little more orange. And then I ordered the 16 and it doesn't match up at all. So this, this is actually, this is what we make on Etsy. These are our sort of trademark designs that we do custom. Uh, sports figures and musicians and all kinds of things out of wire and I use a lot of 16 gauge wire but you could see this one's like kind of faded it's not a nice color so usually what I do for the um, 16 gauge wire is the best one I found is the one from Michaels let me just see if I can find a roll of it because it's so far my best I just have to find it. Um, here we go. So, I will show you. Joined on your phone. Fantastic. So, this is the gold I usually use. This is 16 gauge wire from Michaels called bead, land, bead la lading or bead landing. And this one's the best. So, uh, if you need a good 16 gauge wire, this, this is really nice. So yeah, so that's the problem I have with ParaWire is the colors are not consistent and I find some of them are really soft. But I ran out of artistic wire, so I'm going to use the ParaWire today. And I'm going to start with 
cutting a piece of the 20 gauge. So we're gonna cut a piece of the 20 gauge. And let's do the bunny. Okay, and bunny, bunny, bunny. Uh, let's see the bunny. I think I'm just going to do it by eye. So there's the bunny. I do have the jig, but I'm just gonna do it by eye. And get my round pliers. And let's just start. I always like to start with the eye. I just find it to be the easiest way to start. So we're just gonna do like a little circle. So start halfway through the wire, do a circle. Yeah, this, this wire is really not a very nice color, but we are going to use it because I bought a whole bunch of it from ParaWire and now I have to use it up. So it's okay for samples. So now we're going to do the nose of the bunny. Don't want it too big. So we're gonna bring the nose there and then we need the ears. Okay, so we're just gonna bend this one up for the ears here. You notice I pulled the, the pulled the wire a little bit after I made the loop to make the eye a little uh, smaller. And then now we're going to do some ears. We're going to bring this one around. I have some other bunny rings, but they're just made with uh, beads uh, uh, that uh, I put on the channel. And I think it was, was it Joan that made some beaded bunnies like that tutorial recently? I've lost track because you guys uh, share your beautiful stuff in the wire makers club and sometimes I lose track of who shared what. So we're gonna just make a couple of little bunny ears here, around and around. Okay, there we go. So there's the ears. I'm gonna to try to make them to match. Make them a little wider. And then this we're gonna bend for the back of the neck. Maybe I'm gonna just bring this one over a little bit. And we're going to bring this one to the back of the neck and up. So there's bunny and then we want to make the front legs. So we're just going to bring this one this way. Yeah, they're both, these are both faux gold and I just, I don't know, like it's sort of antique looking. I just don't, I don't know, I don't love the color, but um, I find it a little bit, looks like it's already tarnished, but maybe it's, supposed to look like that I mean maybe it is I just find that the 18 and the 20 are not like consistent in color like the 18 is no that's the 20 yeah the 20 is darker than the 18 that's the that's the issue and then the 16 is really not so nice so here's the bunny and then now we're going to do the back leg uh, so let's do the back leg for the bunny keep it simple this and might end up being a little bit big I could have made it smaller so now around here, okay, and so there's Bunny, and then I don't want to make him too big, so I'm just going to bend that one out here, and then this part, we're going to bring it down, and then we'll do the tail. So we're going to bring this one around here, okay. So there's little Bunny, so cute, and now we're just going to take this wire. I, I like to help the bend first with my pliers, and just bring that one around, and then we're gonna clip that one. You like the pair of wire, full gold, it's your favorite. So yeah, so if you like that very like tarnished, kind of like, not tarnished, but like antique looking, I think it, it's probably good. But I tend to like wires that are more bright and um, like brighter uh, colors. So I think maybe for what I'm doing, uh, I don't like it as much. And like I said, the fact that the two colors don't match as well, thats I didn't like that so much. But uh, everybody has their own taste in wire. And um, put a bead on the tail. I love that idea of putting a bead, but the trouble is for the ring, I do the tail like just a circle and then I stick the, the, um, the wire in there. But I do love that idea of doing a, a bead in the tail. I think that's a great idea, Kat. So now we're just gonna bring this one around here. So that would be the tail like that. And then we're going to bend this. You've never used para wire. Yeah, I, I guess everybody has their preference for wires. I don't know if you can buy the para wire other than on their website. So it might not be available in India. Um, I don't know if they sell it on Amazon or not, 
but I ordered it on the website. That's um, and the reason I ordered it was I wanted to test wire for our work for the 16 gauge wire. But as it turns out, I won't I won't be using it for my work at all because it's it's way too dark. So let's just do that. And so there we have Bunny, super cute. So there's Bunny, and then we need to cut a piece of wire for the band. So Diane from Florida, hello, hello, very nice. It's your go-to, yep. So everybody has their different wires that they like, absolutely, yeah. No, everybody has their preference. And uh, I think if you go with para wire or artistic wire, they're both good. Uh, definitely don't go for some of the cheaper wires that are on um, Amazon. Like there's one, I forget what it's called, it's called Ben, something starts with the B. There's a bunch that are really not good at all on Amazon. So, but if you stick with para wire or artistic wire, they're very similar uh, in style and quality. Yeah. So you just have to decide what's your personal preference. So now here's the band. Hi, Inga. You joined. Awesome. Fantastic. And Christina, nice. Awesome. Yeah, safe and warm. Well, I'm warm in my heated house, that's for sure. So now Bunny is adorable. Thank you. So let's just bend this, this one up. Okay, we're going to bend that one straight up. And then we're just going to check this and bend the other side. But actually, the bunny, you might have to curve it a little bit because it's a little wide now. So let's just take the bunny and curve it on the ring cone. Now, if you don't have a ring cone, you can just use a marker or something. So that's not a problem at all. We're just going to curve it around a little bit. And then for aluminum wire. So the aluminum wire, um, I'm not too sure what the brands are because I haven't really bought a lot of aluminum wire online. I bought some from Etsy once, but I'm not even sure if the brand was indicated. So I really don't have any recommendations for that. I can look into it and see. I can look in my back orders on Etsy and see um, what that wire was because I had ordered some uh, 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire on Etsy before. So now let's put this one here and this one here. We're gonna just stick those ones in there, and we, uh, yeah, you could either put it in the foot or the nose. Maybe in the in the foot is better. Like this one, I put it. Um, there we go. I'm just gonna see. Yeah, usually I use the artistic wire for the uh, tutorials. I just find it's um, it works well for what I'm doing. So you see this one, I'd put it in the nose, but it kind of it maybe ruins the design a little bit. So let's try to put it in the foot and see if it sits well. So for that, we're just going to take this one. Uh, Jeannie, hello, hello. And so now, yeah, aluminum wire is much softer than the copper, much softer. So it's not good for everything. It depends on what you're making. I use the aluminum wire for sun catchers, like the 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire for sun catchers. I find it's uh, it works well for that um, because sometimes the thicker uh, copper wire is hard to work with. So now we're going to take this and bring it down. Okay, we're just going to bring that one down and then we're going to clip that one. Louis from Texas. Awesome. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. We are making rings. We're making uh, rings to make and sell. So if anybody wants to um, make rings like this and sell them at craft shows, uh, they're fun. They're novelty rings, these ones. They're the, the, Some of my other rings with the beads are more classic. These are definitely novelty rings with the animals. So Jeannie's your first time, that's awesome, fantastic. So now we're just gonna take this one and bend it down. Just gotta grab it and give it like a little, I'd say give it a tug. So it has a nice little closed um, uh, space there. Bouncy Kitty, hello, I like that username, that's awesome. Bouncy Kitty, so now we are gonna close that one up so there's no little sharp bits. And then I always put it back on the ring cone just to make sure. Oh, yeah, that looks much better in the foot of the bunny. This one is adorable. Gloria says, love your rings. Thank you. So here's bunny, guys. Bunnies are my favorite. 
Sorry for my wrinkly hands and I cut myself so I put a band-aid on there. I didn't want to gross you guys out. So there we go. And you're doing great. Thank you. So now we've done two things. We've only done two things, but they're cute. We did a shoe and a bunny. So what other rings should we do, guys? Let me know what you want me to do next. I'm going to have a sip of water. So we did a dog already. Oh, this one was a telephone. Back in the day of rotary phones, that one got scrapped. I made this design before cell phones, like in the 90s. So that's insane and funny. There was a giraffe, which is cute. Uh, elephant. Why don't we do an elephant ring? Should we do an elephant ring? Okay. Yeah, leaving, yeah, leaving um, marks on wire is a bone of contention for many people. And you just have to go very gently and you need decent quality tools. Like the Zeron tools are nice. Uh, one of my favorite tools, which sadly is not available anymore, are these um, uh, Cresta uh, tools. They're very like smooth and soft and fine, very fine. These are my favorites, uh, but they're not available for purchase anymore unless somebody could find them. I believe they're from the fishing department of a hardware store, but the hardware store went out of business a long time ago, so I can't find them anymore. So, uh, Yenna says they're lovely. Awesome, thank you. So here's the elephant template, but do you think for the life of me I can figure out my jig? I'm gonna try, let's try it. Let's bring this over here. Let us get some more wire. We'll get some more 20 gauge. I could try the jig with the, um, with this pair of wire to see if it works. Um, we'll try it, why not? Let's try it. So I am going to cut a piece of wire, maybe four or five inches, not too much. Oh, Slack is just a group where people can share pictures of their work. So if Slack is mainly for people that don't have Facebook and wanna share pictures of their work, with me that because sometimes I share pictures of people's work based on my tutorials in the community section and on Pinterest. So what people do will they'll post them in the Facebook group, the Wiremakers Club, and then I can share them. But if you don't have Facebook, if you join Slack, it's an app on your phone or on your desktop that you can share pictures of your wire art and wire jewelry. And the other reason I use Slack is when we do Let's Get Wired, which is a live stream where we got we work all at the same time. Um, you can share work uh, your work in there too. But if you're not social media savvy, don't worry about either the, of those. And you can always email me photos to info at heatherboydwire.com. So now we're going to bring this one down. This is the elephant. So I just have to remember how to use this template because I haven't used it in a long time. Actually, usually my husband would make these rings. So I didn't really use them that much, but he did. So now we're going to bring this one up here. So that would be the elephant's feet. Okay. Uh, bouncy kitty, um, plastic dip. Yeah, I've heard of that, that people dip their tools in plastic to, um, so they don't get scratches. That's another option. Now this one, I've actually pulled the nail out of there. So let me see if I can get a pin, because sometimes I'll just use a pin instead of that. So let me just, I just have a pin. I'll just stick a straight pin in there. And now we're going to stick this one here. And let me remember how I did this. So I guess I did this. I think the, I think I did the trunk sticking up, maybe. So this one was, well, get in there. If this doesn't work, I'll just do it by eye. So we're gonna do this one up here. I wonder if my my husband had any of those elephant rings handy and I can see if I can trace the design but I don't think I see one no nope. I don't see one there so I'm just gonna wing it so this would be like the the trunk I think I oh I think this is just the end of the trunk I think he just like it went down here and then back up and then back here around here. Uh, I'm trying to think if he did the eye too. He might have done the eye. Let's do the eye. I'm just gonna remove it to do the eye and I'm actually gonna use my little tiny 
suppliers. Hi, Lorraine. Tool magic. I've heard of tool magic. That's cool. Very nice. Yeah, so if it helps, if anybody has used that and it helps, let us know because um, that could be useful for people that have trouble scratching the wire. And sometimes it's just a matter of practice and sometimes it's just a matter of the quality of your tools. So I'm just trying to make that eye a little bit smaller. So I'm just gonna pinch that one, bring that one around there, okay. So there's our eyeball of the elephant. He's looking super cute. And then let's put him back on here. I'm gonna just straighten that one out a bit. Uh, honestly, this would be probably much easier to do by by eye, but I will just, for the sake of using the jig to show you guys, I'm going to just do it this way. So we're going to bring this one down here. This is the ear, and then up, and then that way. So that was the ear, and then that way. So, and then this, let me just remove it to try it because this wire is a little bit soft so it's not making very nice straight bends but we can just fix it up so we're going to go in there we're going to bend that one up that way and then flip it bend this one very like that way okay so there that looks good we're just going to maybe make it bring it in a little bit more okay so here's the elephant so far and then I'm going to just, with the round pliers, bring that one across. Maybe bring it down and up a little bit to give it a little bit of definition on the top of the ear. And then let's bring it back on here. So say we put it back on here, line those up. And then just, I think that I had that round form just to get the curve of the back. So he's super cute. There's our elephant so far. I'm going to have a little sip of water just addicted to happiness i love that username hello i love the things you make oh thank you i have so much fun making stuff i can't believe i actually am able to work full-time as an artist because it's just a gift to be able to make things and to be able to support myself that way and i love it i just have fun Tonight I'm really excited. I do a Zoom call with my sister every um, week and my friend Patricia and we make art and we chat on Zoom. So that's super fun. I'm looking forward to that tonight. And now, and Lorraine, did I miss you Lorraine? Hello. I've heard of people taping painter's tape on the jaw. Yes, I've heard of that too. Painter's tape is another solution. So now, I have to remember how I did, how I finished it off for the elephant because for the, to put the ring form, I forget how I did it. So let's just make, let's just give him a little bit of a butt because his butt's a little flat. We're going to bring him up and down. And then if I make like a tail thing, if we're going to bring this one down here, because it might be good to like put the bead in the tail or not the bead the wire in the tail and then that way it won't destroy the um, design so I'm gonna maybe make the back a little bit bigger and okay, we're gonna bring this one over a little bit more and I'm going to also tighten up that bend so I'm gonna squeeze that bend in a little bit Okay, just tighten that up a little bit. And hi, Paula. Nice to see you. So now we are going to, if we take this, I want to like attach them. But what if we, I'm just going to bend that a bit. What if we bend these up a little bit together? Okay, I'm just going to bend these a little bit. Because I have to remember how I attached it to the tail. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to get my flat pliers and wind this one around a few times. So I'm going to take the bottom one. I'm going to straighten that out a bit. So let me just, hopefully it's not going to break. I'm going to take my flat pliers, take the bottom wire and wind it around. Maybe even once would be fine. Yeah, maybe just once, maybe twice. Um, cause I really want it to be secure. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to wind it once. 
and I'm going to cut it. Hi, Robin. Nice to see you. Awesome. We've got two family members there. And Zona Verda. Zona Verda. Vordis. Hello. I love your comics. Yay. Sweet. A comic fan. I love that. If you guys don't already know, uh, my alter ego is I write comics, fun comics, with my daughter. Um, they're basically conversations with Mimi. And you guys know what a good uh, sense of humor Mimi has because she voiced over my last video, which was fun. She did such an amazing job. Uh, yeah, so I write comics, and they're usually inspired by our crazy conversations. Um, and um, yeah, I just love the people that I meet on the, in the in the comics on with the comics on Instagram. It's fun, and I just wrote a book. So if you guys are interested in comics and want to buy my book, uh, it's also in my Etsy shop. I will link it up. Uh, in the description as well. There we go. So now I have to make a little loop on here to put the wire for the um, uh, for the ring. So let me just bring this. What's this going to do? Uh, we want to go. Okay. So this, if we do it this way, around to the back, it doesn't really matter. Like I would have loved that to have more shape, but we're it's when it's so small, you can't do so much detail. So now we're going to take this and bring that one around. So we're going to bring this one around here and we're just going to finish it that way. It looks like a bit of a funny tail. It looks a little silly, but I'll try to find the ring that Mark made so you can get a better idea of how I actually finished it before because I'm pretty sure it wasn't this way. So now we're going to clip that and then you really want to pinch these ends in so they're not like sharp. So we're going to do that. Pinch the ends in. Okay. Clarice says they are so funny. <laughs> Thanks, Clarice. I'm so happy you like them. Annette. Hi, Annette. You're amazing. Oh, I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I love these live streams. You guys are awesome. So now we are going to do that. Now the tail's a little low though. So what I'm thinking is maybe, maybe I could bend it up a little bit. So this is going to be the hard part. I guess if I just take this and bend it up, it's going to get a little distorted here, I think. So we're just going to bend it up. Yeah, that looks like a hot mess, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, you, this is not working out, but that's okay. I'll, I will do another elephant and post a picture in the post live stream sections, but just to give you an idea. Yeah. I don't know why his back's getting really distorted there. So let me work. I think cause I, I think cause I bent it, it got a little pushed out of place. Okay. That one might be better there. So that's the idea. We can just fix this up a little bit. Okay. Uh, 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 there we go. That's pretty good. I mean, the tail's not great, but that's not, that's okay. So the coffee one is my favorite, <laughs> Mustafa. That's the classic one about the coffee. Um, and that was the one that sort of uh, got a lot of uh, attention, let's say, on Reddit, uh, which is why a lot of people found out about my stuff. But originally there was just comics that were made for my friends and my family. And my favorite one is my one about my dad. Uh, it's it's a fun one. Oh, yay. Mustafa put the link to my comics. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy, uh, Amber. I sent Amber my comics because I knew she liked them. So she, she's got the book. Mm -hmm. You said your dad likes them too. He's my generation for sure. Debbie, hello. Oh. Troubles with your phone, but I'm happy you're here. So here's the elephant. The tail is not exactly what I would have liked it to be, but it gives you an idea of how we can make the um, the elephant. And so now we're just going to cut some wire for the band. Let's just take this. And then you guys be thinking about what ring you want me to make next. So you can let me know. We're going to bring this one around here. And see, this is quite wide, so we also might have to bend the elephant a bit. See, when, you're, when your shape is too wide, you're going to have to bend it around a little bit. So that looks good. Perfecto. So now let's go ahead and bend this one up. And then this one too, we're going to bend it up probably 
spread them a little wider apart because the elephant's quite wide. So we're just gonna like really bend that straight up and that one straight up. So now we can take the elephant and put the trunk in one side and a plane. Hmm, we can try a plane. Let's see, we're gonna put this one that way because you guys thought that other one was a plane. That was interesting. And uh, so now we're just going to bend this one around. If you need to help it, you can do this, bring it around and help it out and push it down here a little bit. So really tug it tightly so that'll be closed up. Hi, Carl. Carl Sock. I like that username. There we go. Is Sock really your last name? Or is that, uh, is that a username? I never know. So let's go ahead and push this one in. I try to keep track of everybody's usernames. It's not always easy. I do have a list that helps. So, and then there's that one. And then let's just pull this one around, but let's help it first with the round pliers. I'm going to help that one out. And then, and also I do want to do another Let's Get Wired uh, session where we work on a project together. And usually I do those on a Saturday or a Sunday. So like people have their weekends free um, to, that they'll be able to join me. So let me know in the comments what day Saturday or Sunday is good for you for a Let's Get Wired. And I usually do them around noon Eastern time. So I don't know what that is in everybody's time zone, but that's usually what I do for the Let's Get Wired. So now elephants in there. Let's go around here. Jessica just stumbled on this live. Hello, a Debbie raccoon. Oh, Debbie, I have struggled with raccoons before. Whoa, there, there goes my ring cone. That's I was so freaked out about the raccoon. Um, raccoons are really hard to get them to look like raccoons, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not sure doing a, a raccoon ring, I'd have to think of a way that it could work. So here's the elephant, his legs are kind of funny, maybe we can spread them out a little bit, and let us maybe spread this out a little bit to see, just, I think the legs should be a little bit fatter, so we can maybe just push these out a little bit. To, to adjust them. Anyways, you could do all kinds of little adjusting. So there is our elephant. So what do we have so far? We have the elephant, we have the shoe. I like the way the shoe turned out. And we have the bunny. So what can we do about an airplane? Let's see. Jessica's profile pic is a kitty, cute. Oh, and then we had a feather suggestion too. Feather would be interesting too. So what? that was Peggy that said that. And then um, Kat said the airplane. So I have done airplane earrings before. Um, I can just try to draw, like I think it was pretty basic. Like if you're doing a ring, it would have to be very simplified because usually for the earrings, I put like, these are like the windows of the airplane. And then I just do like up like that. And then like that. So Kat, let me know in the comments is if this looks somewhat like an airplane and if that would work as a ring because you could you could do like a band like that you can make an airplane like that that would work and then for the feather I'm thinking you probably would have to use thinner wire like maybe um 22 gauge wire or something and then like you'd want to do like something maybe like that or something I don't know if you would go back and forth uh, you could do like a loop there and a loop there. You could do like a, a ring like that. And Robbie, if you're trying to come up with some kind of axe ring. Ooh, interesting. I can write down that too. I should keep track of who's asking for these. So that's Peggy. And Robbie says an axe ring. Oh, I forgot your eye or pendant. Okay, cool. That's an interesting... Looks nice. Okay, cool. So there's that. And then the axe. I think the axe would be like, uh, what the axe looks like? Like that? It would be something like that. I'm not sure how you would do it as a ring. I guess you could do something like that. I've definitely done axes. Like I've done, we do those little figures and I've done fireman figures with an axe in their hand. Um, I need a bunny. My nickname online is KS Thumper, that's cool, fun. 
might try Lydia might try one. That's fantastic. And then the other way you can do a feather is just like the outline, right? I've seen feathers like that where they just do kind of a I don't know exactly, just something like that type of thing. But it's not like as okay, my drawing skills are lacking today, but well that's the other day idea. You can just use that same wire. And do like that type of thing with a feather too. If you use the same wire, it's only like this one though. The wire was um, the wire was thin, so I don't know how that well that's going to work. So why don't we start with the airplane, and then I could do ooh a cross. I think actually we used to do cross rings, and they were pretty simple, Christina. They were just like like I remember it was like that type of thing. And then I remember we you would end it at the top, and then we did like a bead like a bead there so that was the cross ring so that would be 20 gauge wire and then this would be the 18 gauge wire so that's 18 gauge and the cross was 20 20 gauge and the bead would be four millimeters so that you could definitely do a very easy cross ring like that as well okay so um yeah that would be a simple way to do a cross for sure so now let us do the airplane and i will get some wait why is this i think this is this looks like 22. i think i don't want to use that so i have to dig into my 20 gauge wire again or was that that was 20 i think i think that was the 20 was that the 20 that might have been 20. Okay, I think it is 20. So let's try an airplane. I'm just going to cut a piece that's, I don't know, six, eight inches long. So let, oh, cat paw. Now I did pause, but I don't remember now. Yeah, I think I did a paw ring. Mustafa, I think if you search my channel, there is a paw on there. I think so, out of wire. That was a long time ago. You can have a look and like if ever you're looking for uh, things like ideas uh, that I might have already done, you can search my uh, channel. Otherwise, um, I'm open to it for sure. I think I did a paw like the, but I don't remember how I did it. But I think the paw would be something like, like I think I did it like this, something like this, and then like this type of thing. But I forget where I would have ended it. I guess maybe I ended it there and like that. I think the the paw like this, this is very stylized. But I think the paw was something like that. And I've also done paws with beads. So this was a bead, and then I'd have like beads like that. That was the other way I did a paw. And then the wire I guess would, I think, came around here to do the wire. And then to attach it to the ring, uh, whew, I don't know how you would do that unless you did it like that way and then attached it that way, something like that. So yeah, yeah, I don't remember if I've done that or not. Flower, I've done a lot of flower rings. Yeah, definitely done a lot of flower rings. And, um, and that too, you could just, I have a playlist of ring tutorials and you can search my channel. So let's try for the um, airplane. And where are we? So we're gonna just start here at the one end, like halfway. And if we bring that one up here, okay. And then I'm going to bend this one across. I might do the windows just to make it more interesting. Otherwise it's going to be like not very interesting. So if you did the windows, usually the front window I do more rectangular, but, and I'm gonna get my smaller pliers to do the windows because um, I like the Zeron pliers, but they don't have as fine a tip as these ones. So we're gonna do this, search my channel. Yeah, awesome, okay. So a pineapple ring, fun. I did a pineapple, but I don't, know if I did it as a ring but that too so Mustafa let me know if I have a pineapple ring on my channel because I do not remember so now we're just going to do a few little windows these are just very very stylized I'm going to bring this one around and do a few little windows for the airplane round and round round and round 
Okay, so yeah, I've done so many tutorials that sometimes I just forget. Um, okay, so now that one, so let's bend this one up to form the wing, and then we're going to need a wing underneath. Maybe I've made that too big now, I'm not sure. Maybe I've made it a little bit long, but we're going to see. So I'm going to take this one, I think I want to bring this one down a little bit more. Sometimes these little ones are really hard to access, but we're going to do what we can. Hi, Bella. Yeah, that would be fun. Yeah, that would be really fun. And a sunflower ring. I don't know if I've done an actual sunflower. I kind of forget. I've done a lot of flowers. So now I know Clarice loves sunflowers. So now we're going to bring this one down here and we're going to bring this one across. Okay, so there's one wing, and you have made a pineapple earrings, but not a ring. Cool. So that was like the beaded pineapple, I think. Yeah, oh gosh, the ring, wouldn't that be cute? Okay, so who suggested the pineapple? That was Jessica, so let's write that down. Jessica suggested the pineapple. I like that idea. And then Clarice did the sunflower, one of the sunflower, but I would have to check. I might have something similar, I'm not sure. So now, let us do the other wing. We're gonna take this one and bring that one up. Yeah, the rings are so fun. People love rings too. So if you do sell at craft shows, um, you could definitely make any of these rings. I don't mind if you guys reproduce uh, the rings to make and uh, to sell at any craft shows. Uh, they're, they're fair game because I don't sell rings anymore. So it's just um, if people can use the designs and, uh, and make a bit of income from it, I am very happy for you. So now we're just going to do that. And we're going to bend this one across. Oh, an owl. Okay, Christina says an owl. So let's... My goodness, you guys are going to keep me busy. Christina says an owl. Perfect. And yeah, uh, third, the owl idea. Yes, yeah. And I do have owl earrings, but not a ring. So that's the, the key with the rings is to simplify the design. So they're not as like detailed and big. So that's always the hard part. So here's the airplane so far. Let's do one more window. So it doesn't look like it just ends at the um, oh wrong pliers. So it yeah I think we have oh yeah bird or a house ring. Ooh I like the house idea. I have done the bird. The, I did the bird for um, uh, Amanda. It was really cute. Um, I like the bird. How about a bird house? That would be cool. Oh and a bee ring. Somebody else asked for a B ring, and I forget who it was. So that's Yeneth. And then Bella says a B ring. So we're going to see. There we go. Yeah. And a kitten. I have some cat heads. Uh, I have some cat head. Oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm going to have to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to go back in the comments after and write all these down because I am going to, uh, yeah, a lot of amazing ideas. You guys are amazing. So now let's go ahead and do one more window on the plane. I th think I'm going to bend it towards the front so it will be in line with the other ones. So we're going to take this, bend it towards the front, bring it around, and then if there are other suggestions, I'll have to go back and write them down because, or you guys can comment if I miss your comment for suggestions for rings, just comment on the actual video after it uploads and, and tell me which what you would like to see. And people watching the replay, tell me what you would like to see as a ring, and I will tackle those design ideas. So a wire teapot would be cute too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I like the teapot idea. That's that's adorable. So here's one more um, one more window for the airplane. Let me pull it in a little bit more. Let me write that one down before I forget too, is the uh, teapot. Yeah, teapot. Nice. Hi, Tim. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Kathy's hello from Utah. Nice. Hi. We have a few Kathy's on. 
so now here's the airplane so far. I'm going to make it not too big because I don't want it to be too big for a ring. And now we're just going to bend this part straight up. Okay. And then we're going to bend this straight down. And then that will be... Let me get the uh, these one. A monkey! Oh my goodness, monkey! That would be so cute. I did monkey earrings many, many years ago. They were pretty elaborate, but I can definitely work on that for a, a ring. Wouldn't that be cute? A monkey ring? Oh my goodness, that would be so, so cute. So let us finish up our airplane. You could do another like little like I don't know. They call it a propeller or something at the bottom, but I'm going to keep this rather simple. We're just going to bend this one. And where are my cutters? Oh, here they are. Perfect. Now, yeah, so we have a couple of Kathy's on here, and Jessica's from Utah as well. That's cool. I have never been to Utah. I've been to quite a few states. When I was a kid, my parents took us camping across the states. Uh, so I have been to quite a few states, but I don't remember um, which ones. That was a long time ago. So here's the airplane. Uh, there's a couple ways you can attach it. You can just bring this band around to make the ring band, but this is a little bit thin. So maybe instead of doing that, we will just bend this one around so I'm just going to take this one and finish the ends okay and then we'll uh, we'll do the what we do with like the other ones with the 18 gauge wire so let's just clip that okay and hi Jennifer what do you suggest for fingers that are damaged from wire wrapping well there's a good question I often have people uh, asking me on the or telling me on the live stream that my hands look pretty um damaged which is true because especially with the hard wire it's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it's hard to keep your, your fingers like in good shape. Uh, I scratch myself all, all the time, as you can see. Uh, I think just maybe don't use wire that's too hard if it's hurting your skin. Some people are more, uh, more um, uh, sensitive than others. But somebody also suggested a good um, hand cream called Sepacol, which I use, which is quite good. I'm wrapping, I use band-aids. Good idea. Yeah, if you guys have suggestions for um, helping damaged hands, that would be much appreciated. Roller skate rings would be much, oh, fun. Yeah, roller skates are cute too. Nice. Cat smiling because it's so beautiful. I'm so happy, Cat. That's awesome. So now this part, I'm wondering, I should have bent it maybe to the front. This is how the this is how the back looks because this might like stick into your finger, but just for the sake of like sticking with what I'm being started, so I'm gonna do it this way, and then we're gonna bend it around to make it a little more curved, so it'll go around the finger a little bit. Otherwise, it's gonna be really really wide. So here's airplane. Super cute. Looks like it's flying around the world. I love it. Thank you, Kat, for this awesome idea. I think it's amazing. Uh, airplane ring. It's super cute. So let's get a piece of the 18-gauge wire. And, oh, Debbie has to watch the replay. That No worries, Debbie. We're not going to be on too much longer, but I really appreciate you hopping on. So now we're going to just do this one. And, and after this one, maybe I'll just do the feather and then I'll do the other ones uh, after the live stream on, on, at, at my leisure. So now we're going to just take that, figure out how wide it has to be, and then just bring this one up here. So this is the best way to make this type of ring is you make the little figure part out of 20 gauge wire and then this part out of 18 gauge wire. So now we're going to put this and there's a foam medical tape on a roll. I've used it to protect my fingers. Good to know. So, Connie, if you have a link to that, uh, please pop it in the comments here or pop it in the comments below the video. That would be helpful for other people. Any tips that we can share with each other to how to make um, jewelry making uh, easier and uh, protect from, you know, hurting our fingers and... and our skin and all that type of thing that's much appreciated because you know we all love making jewelry but if you do it um, 
uh, you know, mass mass production type thing, or you just work with your tools a lot, you can definitely have some wear and tear. So now we just pop that one in there. And then this one too, sometimes I like to like help the bend with the pliers. And then we're going to take the end and just give it a really good tug. Okay. There, there we go. Just to get it in there. And we're just going to clip the end with the flush cutters. Get it in there. Um, Lydia, Lydia says, I can't find a nice teapot for a bookmark gift. The beads are all set. And I have, okay. Oh, nice. So a teapot bookmark. That would be cute. That would be really cute. Yep. I could definitely draw something out for that. So maybe I could, because sometimes when people ask me for design ideas, I can just draw them out and post the picture in the community section. So even though I don't always have time to make the things out of wire, I can definitely draw you a design idea. And that's my pleasure to do that. So Kat, look how cute your airplane ring is. Oh my goodness, Jeannie, so I'll, be ba I'll be back. Okay, thanks for hopping on, Jeannie. So there is the airplane and it's gonna go around the world. All the way around the world. I love it. Thank you, Kat, for the inspiration. It is beautiful. Actually, a pendant for the teapot. Okay, so let me write that one down. So, uh, I think I had written that down, that you wanted the teapot. And now, oh, here it is. So good, but pendant. Perfect. Okay. Can't read my writing, but that's okay. So now, hi, Alif. Hello. So, so cute. That's what I thought. So cute. So let's try a quick feather. And then we're good to go. So for the feather, I'm going to use 22 gauge. Let's see what we can do. It might be a little bit fine, but let's just see what we can do with this. A design would be incredible. I will do that. I, I've written it down. I'll see what I could do to pop it in the community section after the live stream. And, um, and then you can have some ideas. So perfect. So, and Eli45, hello, and Art Flow by Mo, nice, a turtle, yes, I did a turtle ring not too long ago, and I have some other turtle things on my uh, channel, so just go to my homepage and search in the search bar turtles, and you will find a few things for sure. In fact, I might have had a turtle in this collection from our street vending days, no, it was a frog. There we go. Did I show you guys the frog? The frog was really cute. We used to do a lot of frogs. That one's awesome. So I could do the frog too. I'm actually going to put together a template with all the uh, with all the um, all of the. I have tell I'm smiling. Aw, oh, thanks, cat. So um, sorry, my brain brain is getting uh, a little bit. Uh, distracted here so let's do the feather I don't know how well this is going to work um, mm, let me see how I want to do it so we can just start maybe if we just start with the feather base um, sometimes it's easier if you just like start with an actual picture but like say and but we want to also do a loop on the end for the um to put the, uh, what do you call it, the band in. So I'm just gonna try something like this. I'm going to bring this one back and that way. It's got a little bit curved. And do a butterfly. I think, yes, I've definitely done butterfly rings. So you can definitely find that. I think I did it in one of the challenges and now I don't remember which one. Yeah, see, this doesn't look much like a feather now, but I'm just just for the idea. Um, looks like a looks like a squash, but I just want to try something and see if I'm on the right track. And if not, I'll just restart. Because what I was thinking is you could do something like this, and then wind it around. And, but then to get it to look more, I mean, that's sort of feather-like, but it also looks a little bit like a vegetable. So, um, 
what I thought would be cool would be just to do like the the feather things. This this is I'm just gonna play with this, and then we're we're gonna we'll get serious after this. And but the idea would be like like how do you do like little lines to make it look like a feather, but it might not be. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. This this just looks a little silly. But that was okay. So that's attempt number one. Um, looks a bit like my fishbone um, design. So we can just do that. And yeah, and then you could actually just like squish it down type of thing. And doesn't really look like a feather, but it is kind of cool. So if you did something like that, and then you will want to like put it on a ring. It's super interesting, but it doesn't look like a feather. So, oh, thanks, uh, Mustafa, for putting the ring to the... Um, the link to the butterfly ring, yeah. Uh, Ligia says, I admire your work. Aw, thank you so much. And Bella, the carrot ring to go with the bunny. That would be so cute. That would be adorable. Yeah, I remember my when my sister's kids were young, I used to make her earrings with different, like, fun things. So I did, like, a bunny and a carrot. And I actually had uh, orange tubing to make the plastic tubing to make the, uh, to make the um, carrot. Uh, buying your first ring, ring mandrel, awesome. And the bunny ring tutorial. Thanks, Mustafa. That's fabulous. Yeah, I'll link all the other animal one uh, ring tutorials in the description of the video, too. So, yeah, this one I'm not 100% sure about. So let's put that at the side. Let's get another little piece and see what we can do. So we'll just get another little piece of wire and clip it. Looks amazing, Heather. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure if it looks like a feather, but, but it's it's darn cute, whatever it is. So now let's go ahead and to do the feather, because maybe it's more like a back and forth type of thing. So if we did something like that, and yeah, this this might take me a long time to figure this out so maybe what I maybe the best thing would be not to do these lines I think it's going to be really really uh, tricky so why don't we instead of doing that why don't I get a thicker wire I'm gonna get rid of that one I'm gonna get the 20 gauge wire and see if I could do like an outline of a feather that would be good so and I'm actually going to get my iPad and just look for an outline of a feather so I have an idea. Because sometimes it's better to actually go with a shape uh, and see. So I'm just going to Google feather outline, feather outline, and see if I can come up with something. Mm -hmm. So let's just get my pen. There we go. And... Yeah, so maybe just something basic. We're just going to like, if you just do like that. Oh, that doesn't really look like it. And then, yeah, I'm going to just try again. We're just going to do that. That. Like that, maybe. Yeah, sometimes it's easier to have an actual object to go by and then and then you'd want to like bring it up here and then yeah there's that too like if we want to do the loop on the end let me just see what I can do with that and um, even if it's not perfect just to get an idea how it might work like that maybe if you bent it on the back Hmm, I'm not sure what you mean, bent it on the back. Do you mean the feather? I'm not quite sure. So let's just try this and see what we can do. And uh, this will be a work in progress, this one. And the other thing is to make it pointy, sometimes you, it's, you're better to like push it back on itself. We're going to see if that's going to work for this. And we're just going to go from there. So now... Let's just go ahead and bring this one up and that one up. And then we're just going to do a few little, if I bend them back and forth on itself, it might work okay. 
Yeah, to bend the shape of the feather. Okay, so let's try that. Let's just, just do a few of these. And just to see if it's going to work. Like, say we just go, maybe do three little bends. I don't, I don't want it to be too big. So we're going to see what we can do. I'm just bending it back and forth on itself. And we'll see what it does. So we're going to go around here. And then, yeah, you're right. If it's curved cat, it's going to be better. So we're going to bring that one around here. They don't quite look like, like maybe they're too bent now. So if I spread these a little bit, they might be better. I'm going to spread those out a little bit. It looks a little bit like fire, but we can see how it goes. We're going to bring this one around. And then we're going to just bend this one. I don't want it too big either. I'm going to bring that one around here. And then this side, we're going to bring this one around. And then this one here. Yeah, this is going to look a little bit funny, but we're going to see. We're just playing. Because sometimes you don't, you don't know until you try it a few times. Do you have a link for one of the rings you used to make and sell? It has beads in it. Yeah, I have the classic rings to make and sell uh, tutorial. Um, I did two versions of it. One I did quite a few years ago, and then I did an updated one in 2021. So I can definitely grab the link for that. I think it's actually the featured video on my channel is the rings to make and sell with a simple bead. And then um, yesterday I posted sort of a slightly different um, iteration of that design. So yeah, this does not look like a feather. <laughs> not at all, but maybe we can fix it a little bit. Let's see what we can do. If we bring that one in, they look like flames. They don't really, it doesn't really look like a feather, but we can just see what we can do. And if we bend that one up a little bit, see what we can do here. Yeah, it, it doesn't look like a feather at all to me, but we you don't know until you try, right? So we're gonna bring this one in and see, it's three beads, not one. Oh, okay. Um, I'm really not sure which one that is, but you could definitely search my channel for, um, for or go through the playlist of uh, of rings. I have like 70 tutorials for different rings, so you could definitely go through the 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 playlist and see if that one is on there because offhand I'm not quite sure. So we're just going to bring this one here and this one here and uh I'm just going to finish this one even if it's not like perfect at all. It's just the idea. You have the tutorial for the single bead on it, but not three beads. Okay, um, I'd have to check and see. I might have another one with three beads, but you could definitely put three beads in that design. I've definitely done them with multiple beads before. So if you wanted to do the rings to make and sell tutorial and add, put three beads instead of one, you could definitely, definitely do that. So now I'm gonna bring this one down here and pull it down in here and I could always do a little quickie tutorial to show you how to do that as well so that was uh who asked for that one I'm gonna have to see uh ice cream cone would be cute and Ashley asked for that one so I'm gonna ask I'm gonna check that one Ashley so three bead ring to sell and then who said the ice cream cone that was cute. Jessica said an ice cream cone. That's that's a great idea, ice cream cone. So you guys are going to keep me busy. Um, there was a blue and there was a white one. Miracle beads. Okay, yeah, I think if you if you search the channel, you'll probably see one. I did some like fidget rings too that had multiple beads and also an adjustable ring uh, that had three beads. So that that's a good one as well. It's like an adjustable a ring design and you can put three beads in it. So here's, it looks a bit like a flame, but it also looks somewhat like a feather. So I'm not sure what we can do to make it look more feather-like, but this is the idea. And I definitely like the idea of making it, whoa, of making it more curved. Uh, Kat had suggested that. So we're gonna just bring that one down here and that way bring these in a little bit that might help 
And then as for the ring part, I think instead of doing a separate 18 gauge wire, I'm gonna just gonna go with the same wire. Grab a little sip of water and the three bead ring is showing in the thumbnail for this live stream. Hmm, okay, I'm confused. So there, you have a class. Okay, well thanks for popping by, nice. So we're gonna bend this one around, make it curved. We can bring it up a little bit more if you want. And then we're just gonna make the band with the same wire. I think it's gonna be much easier. So we're gonna just bring that one around and we can clip this one. Um, yeah, if it wasn't, it's not too bad like that actually. I don't mind it. So now we're just going to take this one and bring it in here. This actually turned out better than I thought. I was worried it would be a hot mess, but it's not horrible. So now we're gonna take this Nice. Have a wonderful day, Ashley. That's fantastic. Cupcake. Christina said cupcake. Cool. Uh, that's a great idea. Cupcake and um, I think I did a cupcake at one point, but now I don't remember if it was a tutorial or if it was a special request for somebody. But I, Oh, I think I did. Maybe it was a pendant or earrings. Something like that. Nice. Nice. So here we go. Let's, let's just pinch this in place. Okay, and there we have our feather ring, guys. So it's not awful. So let's see what we have, what we've done today. I like it. Actually, I think there's a lot of potential for the feather ring. This is super awesome. Let's put it on here. Ooh, it's comfortable too. I like it. So let's see what we've done. We've done the feather. Should we put them back on here maybe? But the feather, we have done... Whoops, elephant. Oh, that's not gonna show very well. Elephant, feather, uh, which one next? Bunny, we did the bunny. There's bunny. I have to hold these in place. Okay, elephant, feather, bunny. Okay, and we have, we have the um, high-heeled shoe, super cute. And the airplane for cat. Nice. So let's hold these in place so you guys can see them. Oh boy, this is getting wiggly. You know, maybe I'll just hold these in my hand. Okay, so you can see them. And let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And I will try to do some of the other ones soon. So there we go. Bunny, elephant, feather, shoe, and airplane. So let me know which is your favorite. Whew, wow, I am exhausted, but that was super fun. I have to drink some water for sure. I th I think my favorite is the shoe. I really like the shoe. I mean, I don't get me wrong, I love bunnies, but the shoe and I do like the feather and the airplane is super fun, but I think my favorites would be the feather and the shoe. So let me know. Uh, put them in your ring display. Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> Ginger always knows what to do. Yeah, there we go, Ginger. Let's do that. Perfect. So let me just find the ring display and let's put them in there. So I'm going to bring up a display. I'll just temporarily remove some of these so we can we can um, put them in there. So I'll just I'll just take the aliens out for now and the tree. And there we have bunny, okay, and elephant, there we go, and airplane, move that one, and the high heel shoe, and the feather. Yeah, so let me know which is your favorite, and I'll be doing, Samantha says bunny is adorable, uh, Musafez loves the airplane. Nice. And the feather's cool. Yeah. Favorite is the feather. Nice. Ligia says, bunny's my favorite. And clap. Thank you. Thank you, Elif, for the claps. Andrea's, uh, cat, sorry, Andrea's cat. I, I, I just had a little brain fart. So cat said, all of them. Yay. Bella's the bunny. Nice. Crafty Harper, hello. Bunny and feather, nice. Feather, yay, I'm glad you like the feather. I was struggled with that one, that's for sure. 
Yeah, a lot of rings, eh? Yeah, so don't forget, you could always search my channel to see the um, other tutorials. Cases the tree. Well, the tree I didn't make today, but I do have the tutorial for all of these rings on my channel. I'm going to flip the screen so we can say goodbye. Oh, I left my cupboard open. So, guys, thank you so much for hopping on the live stream. That was really fun. Yeah, the, the shoe turned out well, eh? I'm surprised. I think it helped to end it to finish it up at the tip of the shoe instead of at the heel of the shoe. So that was a new um, development, which was great. Uh, so guys, uh, live streams every Wednesday. Uh, if you want to join Slack uh, for to see pictures, I'll post pictures of these in the Slack app. I'll also post them in the community section and on the in the Wiremakers Club. Yeah, thanks so much. But don't forget to subscribe for lots more DIY videos. Uh, thank you to Amber and Mustafa and Clarice for being uh, moderators on the in the chat. I really appreciate you guys, that's so awesome. And I will definitely see you guys uh, in the Wiremakers Club uh, and also a new video on Saturday and we'll see you guys the next time. So thanks again for hopping on, it was super fun, bye.